definitely subscribe because you guys are whole vibe okay period you can tell by the title it's moving day i'm so excited y'all i feel like the days up until today were dragging like even at work yesterday it was just dragging but it's all right we're here i'm currently trying to force myself to eat y'all been up since 4 44 in the morning i opened my eyes at 4 44 couldn't go back to sleep since it's currently 8 30 I have to get my keys at 10, but my aunt is coming to meet me here at 9. Because I want to bring some stuff over to the house, like the clothes that I have on hangers. I want to bring that like in the car. Because I only paid for my movers for four hours. And I'm hoping I don't even use the full four hours. But yeah, I'm trying to move as much small stuff as I can so that they're not here for a long period of time. Because you know the movers charge by the hour. I'm just trying to literally force myself to eat something. Can't really make nothing. I put my pots and pans away. I put my toaster away. So I was like, it, it gotta be cereal at this point. I took a couple bites and I'm over it. So I'm about to keep it pushing. I went ahead and bought Lonnie this booster seat yesterday. She has outgrown the car seat. So sad. Um, I did do a big grocery run. So I may do a little like grocery haul when I'm packing the fridge and show y'all. But I ordered some stuff from Sam's and had it delivered. So that's some of that stuff. The dog crate. Yeah, I tried to put everything in bins so that it's, like I said, I want the movers to move as quickly as possible. So the less that they have to go up and down the stairs, the better. And like certain stuff I'm gonna bring in a car like this because I know it goes straight in the garage, my Christmas decorations. Cleaned out the bathroom so there's nothing in here. I'm taking my toilet tissue though, I know that. Um, I don't know where to put these, the last bit of clothes that I washed. So I'm gonna take it in a car just like that. My washer and dryer is coming with me. Those are mine, I pay for them. Let's see. All the kitchen stuff. Everything on top of these bins is what I plan on taking in the car. Like my paper towel. I plan on taking all this stuff in the car. All these clothes, taking it in the car. Brief interruption. My phone had rang from Xfinity because I was asking them like how to go about changing my service address because the place that I'm moving to, they have internet included. But the internet that's included is Xfinity. So I'm like, isn't it still the same thing if I just switch my service over there? I don't know what I'm doing. Long story short, they called me. They was like, oh, your service should be switched off about the 30th. Baby, it's the 28th. What I'm supposed to do without internet? Like, I live, breathe internet. Like, I stream all my shows on my TV. What am I supposed to do without that? Fingers crossed I don't have no issues with this internet, y'all. I can't survive without internet. Like, I don't know. So, I went ahead and cleaned out everything from under the couch because once the movers get everything in the truck, I plan on not coming back. So, I did all the little minimal cleaning that I'm going to do. I'm not about to deep clean this house for them. That's trash. My trash bin is full, y'all. And I have three big trash bags that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I'm going to have to leave it at the side of the house. And I know they're going to charge me for that. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, kitchen. Everything is off the counters. Except those are the cleaning supplies for the new house since we're about to go and clean. Um, all the Most of the groceries that I bought are in here in bags. So, I'm going to take my pickles. Some of it's right here. Show y'all what else we can show y'all. This right here was like this when I moved. And they ain't never fix it. So, oh, Brooklyn got a haircut, y'all. Here's another one of the big trash bags full of trash that is not gonna fit in my bin. Here is my hair room. She is empty. This is my boyfriend's gaming room stuff. This will not come off the wall, y'all, so they're gonna have to charge me for it because I know it, it just won't come off the wall. Oh, my Barbie clock, I gotta take that off the wall. Um. So yeah. I'm probably gonna put like my monitors in the car. I don't trust, I don't trust. I work from home, I need it. I need to clear off my desk. <laughs> I slacking y'all. I picked up my mat, cleaned out this, took my mirrors down. This is what the outfit given today. Real tomboy, real, yeah. I did not empty these out, so I hope they don't care. No. This is all the pictures and stuff that was in her bathroom, her bedroom. And this right here, I was trying to get the help of TikTok, but I was trying to get this hair dye up. It's my fault. I left it sitting for too long. It will not come up. I've tried vinegar and baking soda 
um and it, people on tiktok was telling me to leave, leave it to sit first before you wipe it so i left the vinegar and the baking soda for two hours it's still here it, it is what it is man i'm not seeing that deposit and i have come to terms with that so yeah took the line these curtains down oh this is mine i need to bring this this is mine what am i doing put this in her new bathroom um let's That's see mine. That's well, it's technically yours, but I took all the pictures down from the walls. Um, see, Lonnie's room, all they literally have to do is just get her stuff out of here. So like her dollhouse, her bed, everything else. Okay. These shoe boxes, I'm probably gonna take in a car with me. These are all her old shoes that don't fit. I tried to sell them a couple times and nobody wanted them. I'm not giving them away for free as of right now. Cause just in case I have another baby, <laughs> hello. But if somebody wanna pay for it, I'll sell it. <laughs> um, so yeah, her closet is pretty much clear. Yeah, my room. Oh shoot, I am supposed to be doing something. I was I was planning I was planning on putting all of my sheets since we used it last night in this dirty clothes bag. So here's a dirty clothes bag. I knew I wasn't gonna do laundry again after that last load downstairs. This dresser, I'm gonna try to see if the movers could take me to Goodwill before they drop myself off at my house because I don't want it anymore. I don't even know if Goodwill is gonna take it because of the bottoms. Um, and if Goodwill doesn't take it, I'm gonna have to leave it in my garage. I didn't have anywhere to put this stuff, so I put it in the bin. <sighs> Clothes, I could probably put that in a car too. This is trash, but I have no room in any of the trash bags, so we are gonna see. Um, I'm about to, after Lonnie brush her teeth, put her stuff away. I'm gonna get my toothbrush from off there. <sighs> Shower. Honestly, y'all don't have nowhere to put this. I'm probably gonna leave this in here. I'm, I don't got no, I don't got time. I can't be bothered. And then lastly, the closet. I think I'm gonna miss this closet the most. This closet was huge. Like, this closet was so huge. <laughs> I'm excited. I am. Ooh, this mirror is dusty. Not too much on me, y'all. I'm so excited. It is like 3 3. It is like 8 40. So my aunt is still not here yet, which I'm really surprised. She be on time. Um, I'm coming, Lani. I'll put that on there for you. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and strip my bed like I told y'all I was gonna do. And then I'm gonna call y'all back when I get my keys and we're in a new house. Yeah. When I tell y'all, it took me like 15 minutes to open that front door. I don't know how to work the smart locks, but yeah, I learned. Yeah. This fancy too. What I just. No, this new has actually a thermostat. Okay. Unless it gets hot in that, then the air should kick on. So, I'm going to tap this a lot. Turn that down a little bit. Right now, I am cleaning the cabinets. I'm going to do downstairs. Mine's going to go upstairs. And then once we finish cleaning, we'll go back to the house and start bringing like the little stuff over. Cause the movers don't come until like three, from three to four. looking for rugs really quickly rugs in the kitchen um trash can so that's what i came up with for now since they're on sale and we're gonna check the kids section i want to see if she can maybe get a character rug and then that was it I'm trying to update y'all bits and pieces because i'm out here in the field it's hot i'm sweating but my grandfather Came, so we loaded up his car with the stuff that didn't really need to go in the movers in the truck. Okay, I think that's good. I'll get my child. <laughs> I bought like the groceries and stuff. Just the small stuff for the movers don't have to do it. Putting up the storm. So the movers just texted me and they said they're on their way. They were giving me a hard time. I was like, can you text me when you're on your way? And they were like, we'll be there between three and four. And I'm like, that's not what I said. I said, text me when you're on your way. And he's like, he's like not understanding. He's like, between three and four. Like, just make sure you're home between three and four. He's gonna piss me off. So we're about to leave and head back to the house. 
Um, it is hot out here, y'all. We're here, y'all. We just want to bring this to the car real quick. Over here trying to, trying to bring stuff to make this process go by much easier. Look, Lonnie helping. <laughs> y'all hear Brooklyn barking? She just knows she's doing too much. Ooh, shit. Quick. Love to see it. Y'all, I'm doing my last little final walkthrough. Um, we've really just been chilling while the movie's been moving, so it was nothing to vlog. I didn't even know Lonnie messed up the walls like that, y'all. Ooh, I'm glad I walked back up here. I, got, I think I gotta mail that back to the, I don't even know how it works. I think I have to mail it back to the um, internet people. There is the last few stuff that they're getting. Just this, I need them to bring her bike and those mats. And then we're done. All right y'all, the movers literally just got here. The truck is so big and if you know townhouses, they're close together. So I just hope we don't have no problems blocking, like, you know, blocking anybody from coming in their house. <sighs> hope this go by quick. Hope it go by quick. All right, y'all. I know I look a hot mess. It is the next day. I just had to put y'all on about everything that went on. Like after a while, my anxiety was on 10 and I just couldn't film. It was just too much going on. So it started when it was time to leave the house, the old house, right? I'm in my daughter's room, by the way, because I was setting everything up. I'm gonna show y'all in a second what I've done so far. But um, yeah, when we left the old house, they were supposed to give me a lockbox code to put my key in the box before I leave. They never sent the code. I called them, had them resend me the link, and I was like, I'm thinking everything's okay. I'm just gonna click the link when we're ready to go. No, once we were ready, once we were ready to go and I clicked the link, all it did was take me to the company's website. And I'm like, why are y'all making it so difficult? Just send me a code. Like, so after a while of going back and forth with them on the phone, trying to hurry up because the movers are charging me by the hour. And I was not trying to go over four hours. Literally, the move came up to four hours and two minutes. Thankful for that. Anyways, yeah. They was like, you know what? You're just going to have to leave the key in the drawer in the kitchen. Um, and we'll just try to take care of that another day so long story short i had to leave the door open and yeah but she told me to do it i made sure to email the property manager like since y'all didn't send me the code i want y'all to make sure i want to make sure y'all are aware that the door is open that pissed me off then we got here to the new house um the movers had to stop at goodwill because i well, I had them drop off the table. I had them drop off Alani's Minnie Mouse bed because it wasn't going to fit in her new bedroom. And she doesn't even use it anymore since so she has her bigger bed. And then um, I had them take my dresser because I want to get another dresser. I want to buy another dresser. So by the time the movers got here, Brooklyn starts going crazy. Now, like I told y'all, I'm in a townhouse. You know how townhouses are. They're typically pretty close together. I don't want no complaints on my first day, bro. Like, one of the reasons why I was so excited to leave the last house was because new neighbors move in and their dogs stay barking. And when their dog barks, Brooklyn barked. That's why I was so ready to move. But, yeah, so Brooklyn is barking, going crazy because the movers are going in and out. Brooklyn doesn't know them. She's a dog, you know? So, after a while, I put Brooklyn in the backyard because I'm like, um, maybe she'll, like, settle down if I put her in the backyard and close the blinds so she can't see the movers coming in and out. So Brooklyn was barking in the backyard. That gave me, y'all, I suffer from anxiety, like real shit. I don't just be saying I have anxiety. I had, like, I literally was diagnosed with anxiety. So her barking in the backyard gives me so much anxiety because I'm like, I don't want no complaints. I just moved in here. Like, you know, certain places, if you get too many complaints, they're going to tell you either you got to go or your dog got to go. You know? So my anxiety was through the roof. She's barking, she's barking, she's barking. After a while, I feel like her barks are getting farther. So I'm upstairs on the phone with the internet people. That was the next bullshit. I had put on, I had set up the internet because this house comes with internet. All you have to do is call, give them the number on the router that was already in the house, and they automatically turn on your internet, right? So they say it was supposed to be so easy. I was having so much problems. The internet wasn't working. The password on the box wasn't working. We're going to get there. I'm on the phone with the internet people upstairs because that's where the box is. 
And I'm like, why is Brooklyn's Bart getting farther away? Like, I know I'm upstairs, but I'm not that far from the backyard, you know? So I, I asked my aunt downstairs, I'm like, is Brooklyn still in the backyard? She was like, yeah, where would she go? I'm like, okay. I don't think my aunt looked. I think my aunt was under the impression that it's a fenced in backyard, where could she go? I don't think she looked. So then our neighbor comes, um, cause obviously the door is wide open cause the movers are coming back and forth. Our neighbors come and she's a black lady. She was like, um, hey neighbor, your dog is in my yard, um, scratching and knocking on my back door. Immediately, I'm like, what? I thought my aunt said Brooklyn was in the backyard. So I go outside, I'm like, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, cause I don't know which side she lived on. So I had to go through my gate and look at, so she was in the neighbor's yard. Obviously Brooklyn, this is a new environment. I'm pretty sure Brooklyn thought she could get to us through that yard. All the backyards are pretty much look the same, whatever. So she was like, yeah, your dog jumped the fence. This can't happen. I'm gonna have to see about this because I have grandkids and this can't happen when my grandkids are over. Very much understandable because Brooklyn, she'll bark at you if she don't know you. Brooklyn has never bit anyone. Brooklyn does not bite. She is harmless, but she does protect me and Alani. Like she's very, if she don't know you, she's going to bark. And the bark alone could scare anybody. So I can understand that. Like you have grandkids, you don't want, you know what I'm saying? There's a dog you don't know. Yeah. So she was like, yeah, this can't happen. So I was like, I'm so sorry. I was under the impression because I paid extra that the gate was securely closed. Like y'all tell me why I'm going to insert a footage because now, every time I put her in the backyard, I have to put a leash on her, which defeats the purpose of a fenced-in backyard. That aggravated me. So I, the lease office or the clubhouse or whatever, they open at 10 a.m. and I'm going to give them a call. And I know that they're going to be like, they can't do anything about it. Because I'm pretty sure they're not going to build out an extra fence space for me. <sighs> y'all, that stressed me out because I'm like, first of all, I left the bad taste in the neighbor's mouth. <laughs> then lastly, y'all, because I know I've been chatting, the internet. The internet was just giving me problems. I was on the phone with this guy until 9 p.m. I was on the phone with him for like two hours. He was on the phone with me an hour after he was supposed to clock out. He could Because he just couldn't figure out why my Wi-Fi password was not working. So just to make a long story short, the Wi-Fi password wasn't working. So they had to schedule somebody to come out on Monday to um, figure out what's going on. I decided to put her kitchen, her Barbie dream house. This, I'm going to end up putting in her closet. Um... This is where I end up putting her dresser. She broke the handle off. I'm gonna get her another dresser, but for right now, this will do. And then I'm gonna get her like a little Roku TV because Alani is in my room 24 eight, y'all. <laughs> so she's never really in her room, but for when she is, I'm gonna get her a little Roku TV and put it on top of there. That's where I put her little toy chest. And this is where I put the bins for now with all of her toys until I buy her some toy storage. Um, yeah, and that's her bin of clothes I have to unpack and put in her dresser. Some of her, most of her clothes are like hung up. I did the office space because this this is the one that's most important that I'm in every day. I went ahead and put my thing here. I didn't unpack any of the bins. I'm probably not gonna do that today. Let me even show y'all my bedroom. Yeah, my bedroom is way bigger than I anticipated. Like our bedroom is huge. So Lani asleep, but I think I'm gonna actually give Alani my nightstand. I don't. I don't know. The room is so big, like this is where the bed stops and then I have all this space. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Maybe like a little like um, couch or something in that area. We'll figure out something. I am in absolutely no rush. Okay, and these are the home goods mats that I decided to go with temporarily. I think I just wanted more of a light and airy bathroom. In my last bathroom I had like a dark gray rug. So these are just a temporary rug. They were on sale for like 25 to 50% off at home goods, so I was like, why not? After coming down here, I think I do have a lot left. <laughs> but I still think I could put most of it in the garage. But yeah, this is the color I decided to go with for the bathroom down here. And this is just all temporary in time. I'm gonna do my decorations. I may switch out the colors of the rugs. I tell y'all I get down and I don't play. It's 11 o'clock. I think I've been out down here since what, eight something. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little area. I'm gonna figure it out, but that's just f temporary. Cause I didn't have anywhere to put that stuff. Got everything off the floor. This is gonna be the setup. I think I'm gonna do a gray TV stand or I'm gonna just get somebody to mount the TV. It just depends. I'm thinking that's gonna be Brooklyn's little area. I don't know. Um, I 
put that up by myself. I'm so proud of myself. Right here, at some point, I could do like a little fake bar cart. But instead of alcohol, knowing me, it's going to be like candy and sweet, sweet stuff. Or even just like a, um, a console table would be cute there. Set this back up. And I do not like this shoe rack. And I'm thinking about instead of getting a new one, just spray paint. And I think the brown just, is just not me. This is just here. This is something my grandmother gave me for storage. At some point, I'm going to swap that out for something else. Maybe like a pink one or... But it's going to do for now. And lastly, I'm about to attempt to put this up. And that brings us to now. So, who's Lonnie? It is currently like 7 p.m. I wanted to go to Home Goods today to see if I can find some Hello Kitty because I've been seeing it all over TikTok. Um, I think early June, Home Goods brought out these Hello Kitty mats, bath mats. And Lonnie said she wants a Hello Kitty bathroom. I cannot find any nice Hello Kitty bath mats on Amazon, anywhere. I've seen a couple of nice ones on Timu, but I'm not trying to order no bath mats from Timu. I don't know. I don't really trust Timu. So that was the plan, right? was gonna hop in an uber and go y'all tell me why our address is not in uber not in lyft <laughs> i'm like what is going on so i had to like reach out to both uber and lyft because i was trying to see who would respond first so we could hopefully go today and i did get somebody on chat for uber not lyft they must be off today i don't know because it is saturday but the guy on uber was like he submitted a request for me for the maps team to update the maps. I'm like, how long is it gonna take? He's like, they're gonna get it done as soon as possible. Before I forget y'all, the whole address thing, I'm used to it because typically I have a habit of moving to new builds, even though this is my second time moving. My old house is the same way, even till this day when I used to do Uber Eats for the old house, Google Maps is not updated because they're building up new properties everywhere, but these apps and stuff is not updating their maps. I've been chilling for the rest of the day. I took a nap. Um, watch TV. I don't think if there's any more updates. I did call the leasing office and they did tell me that there's nothing they can do about the gap in the fence. But they're going to send maintenance out just to make sure that we don't have an abnormally large gap. But y'all, so they, it's some fireworks going on. Lonnie wanted to come outside. I just, I don't know. Some just, don't this side look smaller than this side? So I think, yeah, I think it actually might be an error. Tell me if I'm bugging y'all. Don't that side look wider? That's the side Brooklyn slipped over to. Then this side. Hmm. So they may be able to fix it. Um, yeah, I don't think this. I think that's the only update, to be honest. I really think that's it. So I'm just going to chill. Actually edit this vlog. Hopefully post it today. And if you stay to the end, you're a real one. You are. It is. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for the rest of our moving series. It'll most likely be like decorated and everything. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Want to say bye, Lonnie? Bye! Bye, bye, guys. I love you. and see you later. Okay. See you later.